What's up guys, it's Matt, and welcome back to NFL Power Rankings. We do this every three weeks. Unfortunately, there is no we, because uh, Shroud is absent today. Uh, he lives in Florida, Tampa, so he's dealing with the hurricane currently, so he couldn't make it. And uh, I, I just hope everyone stays safe down there, uh, including Shroud, and hopefully he'll be back uh, in the next three weeks to do another Power Ranking and uh, end our picks, obviously. You know, so hopefully he comes back and he's good, he's chill, he's safe. And uh, yeah, hopefully everyone down there is staying safe. So my my prayers are out, out, out for the people down in the East Coast. But we got but we gotta move on. We have the power rankings. Week six. Hope you guys are ready. Hope you know how we do this. Uh power rankings, you just kinda list each team how good you think they are, uh, compared to the other. So let's start with 32 here, and I do have my graphic next to me from week five, so I can tell you how much these guys moved up and down. So oh, we're gonna start with the, the last team in the league right now, the New England Patriots. Uh, ever since week one, which is a very big anomaly, uh, a known anomaly in in the league, week one, uh, they just haven't looked good at all. They've lost. Uh, every game, they are 1-4. and four. They just lost to a team, a, a very winnable game. I would say uh, both teams weren't really good. Obviously, we're talking about the Dolphins here. But they were the losing end, and they're, they're last right now. Uh, they're starting Drake May. We'll see how that goes against uh, the Texans. Doesn't look like a favorable matchup, so they are 32. And... Mm, and kind of a little small prediction here. Might be 32 in week 7. But above them, not too far, are the Dolphins. They got the dub. They were just a winning end. Uh, they still don't look good at all. Not Nothing nothing too promising there. They are on bye week, though. So hopefully they can get Tua back and start to become the team we kind of thought they were. Kind of middle of the pack. Uh, maybe even a fringe playoff team if they can get back to full strength. Uh, and Tua does not uh, get concussed or retire from the league. So, Dolphins are going to be 31. Uh, also, Patriots moved down one, and Dolphins also moved down one from last week. Uh, but here are number 30, the Browns. What happened to the Browns, man? I, I thought they were, were going to be a playoff team. You saw my early season predictions. I had... I thought they'd just be, you know, decent with Deshaun Watson. They were still winning games. And now, they, from last season, they were like, oh, Deshaun Watson went 5-2, and two, though. You know, he wasn't bad uh, when Joe Flacco came in. They were still winning games. Now, they don't have that excuse anymore. Deshaun Watson it might be the worst quarterback in the league right now. Uh, I, I imagine they're going to make a switch soon. Deshaun Watson doesn't even want to play, dude. He's, like, going... Fourth down, and, and he's just walking off the field, even when his head coach wants to go for it. Uh, they're just they're just a complete mess right now. So they're going they're going thirty, and they are down one spot, even when they got blasted by the Commanders. So I I just could not put them uh, below Dolphins or Patriots at the moment. We'll see coming up. They got the Eagles, and uh, I, I mean a winnable game for them for sure. But can their offense show up? Uh, like it just hasn't the whole season. We'll see. 29, I got the the Raiders, the team that beat them uh, uh, the last week. And uh, they just don't, they, they, they don't look good either. I mean, they have excuses. Devontae Adams dealing with a hamstring. But obviously his hamstring is just going to be fine when he moves to another team. Because he, he's crossing a trade right now. Max Crosby came back for the Broncos game. And they got blown out. When they had like a 10 point lead at the start. I don't know what happened. They just kind of fizzled out. The momentum was on the Broncos side. And uh, teams. Teams uh, below them. Won this week. Uh, so a lot had to change. I think the Raiders had to be 29. And they moved down 6 spots. Compared to last week. Uh, where I had them. I just realized you guys don't see my power rankings every week. Uh, I had the Raiders at 23, yeah, so they're, they're down six. Uh, uh, maybe you just requested me on my Discord server. It might work out. But, 
Uh, 28. We got the Panthers. I cannot put the Panthers under the Raiders right now, even when, uh, even when, uh, uh, the Panthers just blew them out. And even though the Panthers are playing terribly right now, Panthers blew them out of the water when they got the chance. So, uh, Panthers just have to be above them. Not playing good football at all, uh, since they beat the Raiders. So, I mean, go figure, just got blown out by the Bears. Uh, by the way, the Raiders have the Steelers this week, and the Panthers have the Falcons this week, who, who's quarterback through for 500 yards. So, yeah, not looking good. I'd say it's a winnable game for the Raiders, though, considering how the Steelers looked, but you'll have to see where the Steelers are coming up. 27. I got the Tennessee Titans. Uh, they were 27 last week, and uh, they just, they were on bye week. They got their window against the Dolphins, so I, I can't really punish them, can't move them up. Sometimes teams will move up, though, even if they're on bye, if, you know, depending on how teams look. But I couldn't move the, I couldn't move the Titans at all. But a team I will move up, uh, actually a team that didn't even, they, they did not move up at all, is the Colts again. And we got a matchup. We got the Colts versus the Titans this week. So uh, we'll definitely see who's, the better team there, but uh, they were dealing with uh, Joe Flacco, and now I think Anthony Richardson might be coming back this week. So we'll see. Uh, I think the Colts are the better team right now, so I think Titans would kind of be an upset if they won. Uh, but the Colts gave the Jaguars their first W in London, so... Wait, were they in London? No, 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 they weren't in London, sorry. They were in Jacksonville, and they haven't won in 10 years. So, I mean, go figure. But that moves the Jaguars up to 25. I know we got, like, three of the teams in the AFC South right next to each other. You just can't really tell who's a good te- who who's the best team. You know, who's the second best team in this division. So they're all just kind of mediocre right next to each other. Jags got their first win, though. I thought... I personally thought they weren't the worst team in the league, even though they were the only winless team. But they got their W, so they're climbing up fast. 25, happy birthday to Trevor Lawrence, who got his first dub on his birthday. And he, and he played great, I would say. Uh, not amazing, but great. So, Jags at 25, and they move up, I mean, set seven spots, because they were 32. But they, they move up uh, past all those teams. Because uh, offense so good. But you can't really punch the Colts for losing. Because, uh, you know, they just... They had Joe Flacco. It was a close game. And they lost. So, not going to move them too far for that. And they're still 2-3. and three. Jags, of course, 1-4. and four. 24. I got the Rams. They're, I It shocked me that they were 1-4. That they're a 1-4 team. Even Matthew Stat. I, I could have sworn they won another game, but I guess not. And their one game they won was against their 49ers? Like, what? What is happening this year? Uh, obviously, they're depleted. Uh, you know, maybe they can get some injuries back. They are on bye week this week. So, yeah, we'll see what they can do uh, when they get some some players, some stars on offense back. Hopefully, they can start winning games, but... For now, they're 24 because of their record and because of their performances against these these teams in the last few weeks. So, I'm putting the Rams at 24. At 23, it pains me to do this. It's it's my team. It is my team. The Bengals. Offense looks stellar. MVP, MVP season for Burrow, but it doesn't matter when your team is 1-4. Records don't don't necessarily matter in power rankings, but if you keep losing these games, I, how do I, I can't move you up. I can't like you, you are exponentially losing games. You are one in four. I can't move them up. I'm, it sounds like a big punishment. Like being, being 23, even though their offense is so good. I like, you just can't move them up because they're not winning games. That defense has got to play better and they have got to play better. Against the Giants, who are 22. Uh, they're playing each other on Sunday night. Giants just deserve uh, deserve a bigger spot, man. They they got an upset against the Seahawks. 
Uh, they looked good that game. Looked pretty good. Daniel Jones. Can you keep that rhythm up even without Malik Neighbors? But they're getting Malik Neighbors back on Sunday night. So, it should be a decent game. Uh, especially with how the Bengals defense is playing. I, I, I for sure just want to win I, for, for the Bengals. But it's not been the case. And, you know, so Giants at 22. And the Giants moved up six spots. They were 28. And Bengals were 18. And now they're 23. So... Uh, just, just not looking good. Not looking good for the Bengals, but maybe they can turn it around against uh, offenses that are significantly worse and haven't been good. I mean, they've lost. Bengals have lost to the Chiefs since Week One. They've lost to the Chiefs, the Commanders, whose offense looks amazing, and the Ravens. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what they can do against these weaker offenses down the stretch. See if they can get back in it. As for the Giants, uh. They might not finish last in the division. They look pretty good, but Bengals need that win there. Broncos at 21. This is the hardest team to rank because, like, you had you had them going, like, 3-14. and 14. A lot of teams have them going on, uh, at the bottom. And they're winning games. You can't even punish them. They are winning games. They beat the Bucks to start this crazy streak where they have now beaten the, Bronc, uh, the, the Raiders and the Jets. Uh, in, a, in a close rating game, so you gotta respect what they're doing. They're moving up in the power rankings, but I, I, they're just, they're not convincing anybody. I don't know if they're convincing anybody. Offense just doesn't look good. Offense is what you need to be consistently good. Uh, except if you're the Bengals, I guess, whose defense is completely shit. But the Broncos defense is great, and uh, that's why they're winning games, so you gotta, you gotta commend them for that. Can they get all these turnovers? Every single game, though, I don't think so. I think having that kind of offense, you, you can only get so far record-wise. Uh, especially, like, how bad the offense looks. It just doesn't look good. It doesn't, like, I don't know how they're winning games, but they're 21. And, yep, again, just moving up in the rankings. That's all you got to ask for. So if they keep winning, they'll move up. Uh, that's how it works. But, Bears, they move up one for blowing out the Panthers. Can't really uh, reward them too much. I know I rewarded the Bengals uh, a lot for being the Panthers, but you know, getting a win, get, getting in the win column is is completely different than just you know when you're rolling and then you beat the you know then you beat the Panthers. It's just like how the Chargers did. But Bears uh, offense looked great. It's it's been the best it's looked. They're 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 still three and two, but they're they're positive record and uh, they're looking good. I can't even lie. They're looking good, but it's these teams where you're you're you know you're kind of a little hesitant on the, on the uh, inconsistent offense, where they're kind of in this twenty one to seventeen range. So and, and you'll see that you'll see that. So next we got the nineteen team that lost to the Broncos, but uh, still put up a decent fight against the Vikings. Fired their head coach Robert Sala. It's the Jets nineteen. I don't know what to do with this team because I thought they'd be pretty good, but Rodgers doesn't look good. Defense still looks great. Uh, they just fired their head coach, though. So uh, we'll see how they look down the stretch. Uh, uh, who else did they beat? I think uh, they beat the Titan. I don't know. Two and three, but haven't they, they, they almost beat the Vikings. Almost had it. So I can't really punish them. In fact, they actually moved up a spot. All right, my brother came in to show me a college football meme, but we are back, and uh, let's move on to 18. We got the Chargers. Can't punish them for anything. Uh, they were 19, and now they're 18, so they moved up one spot. Uh, on bye week, nothing they can do. They got the Broncos this week, so a 18 versus 21. Should be a good matchup, and uh, as for the Jets, uh, I forgot to mention that they are playing the Bills who have uh, currently uh, just not looked as good as they were at the start. Start 3-0, now 3-2. But, uh, yeah, it's the Jets' chance uh, at home to see if they can uh, take over the division. So that's why they're really not that far down in the power rankings, as they should be, because they still have a chance to even take over the division, which is crazy to say. But, yep. Uh, but as the Chargers, uh, again, uh, they just they look like a very mid-team right now. Uh, again, the offense hasn't completely clicked, so they're 18. They had their bye week. Now they now they got 
a matchup against the Broncos. We'll see how they look there. Out for a team that did beat the Chargers, but has uh, also lost their last two matchups. It's the Steelers, man. They started 3-0. Uh, fell to the Colts and fell to the Cowboys. Uh, team, I, I win, wins that they were kind of, when they started 3-0, they're kind of uh, favored to win both of them. And now, and they, they lost at home too. So they, they have lost two in a row. And these are matchups you expect them to win, with, especially with that gauntlet of a schedule they have. Maybe not much of a gauntlet anymore since the Browns and Bengals haven't looked particularly good uh all around so but yeah we'll see how the Steelers can go they have the Raiders this week another favorable game for them let's see if they can close it out and get a win uh but again the offense hasn't looked particularly good looked pretty good against the uh Colts but they still lost that game they really struggled to score more than 20 points ever and uh that might be their downfall if their defense can't hold up just a little bit more but 16, we got a team that I thought was going to be dead in the water and going to start to panic. But never mind, because they beat the 49ers. The Cardinals are now 2-3. and three, And uh, they have a chance to be at the top of their division. If the 49ers uh, win their Thursday night game, which it's, it's crazy to say, but if the Cardinals beat uh, the Packers this week, they got a chance to be at the top of the division, which is absolutely insane, uh, in my opinion. I nobody wants to win the NFC uh, NFC West or AFC East. Clearly, uh, so yeah, I, I thought that was a very impressive win against the 49ers. 49ers don't look good at all. And speaking of the 49ers, I I gotta put them next because what the fuck is going on with the 49ers, man? <laughs> I know C Christian McCaffrey's injured and all. And uh, getting a diagnosis is in, in Germany. But the team, I, I feel like they have winnable games and they're just blowing it. They've lost to the Vikings, which now doesn't look like a bad loss. But they've lost to the Rams. That's their only win of the year. And the Cardinals, who've only beaten the Rams and the 49ers. So the Cardinals are 2-0 and in their division. And the, and the, and the 49ers are 0-2 in their division. Could be 0-3 this week. Which is insane. I, I don't know what's going on with the NFC West right now. So, I, I mean, definitely watch watch that division. Because things are things are getting a little spicy there. Uh, but 49ers got the Seahawks this week. They're where, uh, uh, on Thursday night. So, see if they can turn their, quickly turn their season around with that win in Seattle. But... 14, I got the team that the Cardinals are playing this week. It is the Packers. Uh, Malik Willis, I had to commend this team. They were winning games with Malik Willis. They looked, they, they didn't look good, but Malik Willis isn't a good quarterback, so the fact that they're winning those games looked great. But Jordan Love is struggling, and he just doesn't look like the same person. I, I So I can't put the Packers too high just because Jordan Love hasn't looked particularly well. They played the Rams, and again, like just struck. They struggled to pl to beat the Rams, who just aren't really good offensively right now because they, you know, they're beat. But uh, I got, I still got the Packers in the second column here. Uh, they're fourteen for a reason. They look fine, and they're they're decent enough to be, beat and like all these other teams right now, like the like the 49ers and Cardinals. But big matchup. Packers, Cardinals should be a good game, honestly. Very decent game. We'll see who comes up, uh, comes on top there. I believe it is in Green Bay. So, probably a big difference there. So, give me the Packers at 14. Saints at 13. Played the Chiefs, who haven't looked good. Uh, I, they were 13 last week. I just I don't know if I can move them. Derek Carr got injured. Spencer Rattler will be starting against the Buccaneers, so we'll see how they do there. Uh, they've definitely fallen off since they started 2-0, and but uh, they, they've, they, I think they've played some pretty decent teams like the Eagles and the Falcons. They just... and Where they've looked like a better team in uh, like both of those games, you could argue. So, they played the Chiefs, and uh, they lost. I, I just couldn't move them. I'm sorry. 
But uh, they're probably going to go down. Spoiler alert. They'll probably go down with Spencer Rattler uh, playing the Bucks. So we'll see how they do. I think they'll probably you know keep losing. But you, you can't punish them for what is not about to happen. You know, for ha- what hasn't happened yet. You know, it's just a prediction. But I can't, I can't move them down. M- maybe you can make an argument. You can move them down like one or two spots. Couldn't move them down. So they stay where they are. Seahawks at 12. Uh, a very winnable game. Th- this is what's happening. The the there's there's teams that are moving up when they shouldn't shouldn't because certain teams are losing games that they were supposed to win. Like the Seahawks and the 49ers were supposed to win against the Cardinals and Giants respectively and they blew it. So, you're going to see some teams above them that I you're probably going to say they don't deserve it, but uh, I mean, they're not losing games that they absolutely are supposed to, you know, uh, that they, they they are supposed to win. They're not losing games they're supposed to win. Uh, did I say that right? Uh, you, you, you'll see it. You'll, you'll see what team I have above here. But next up is a team that started 3-0, and started hot as hell, and has absolutely just dis- disappointed everyone, especially the first two halves. I'm talking about the Bills. It's a team that does not deserve the top 10 right now. Uh, you look at Josh Allen, went 9 for 30 in a game that they were supposed to maybe even uh, compete against them. And they started, what, 3? It was 3 to 20 at, at the half. This is not a game that, that is supposed to happen. If Joe Burrow went 9 for 30, he would be absolutely crucified by NFL analysts. But no, it's Josh Allen. He went nine for thirty. Let, yeah, let's just not criticize him for that. Uh, they did have a chance to come back in this game, but uh, uh, eventually, you know, uh, it was the Texans that ended up with the win and well deserved because the Bills just don't look good. They can't play the entire game. The offense can't play the entire game. They haven't showed up for four quarters since week three. Uh, our, Bills might be on fraud watch. Uh, to be honest, they, uh, they're just not win- They're not winning games against teams that they're. They, you know, they're told they were told that they're supposed to based off expectations. Uh, you could say that for the Bengals, but uh, that's. I mean, that's just the defense for the Bengals. Most, most, mostly offense has looked amazing. Bills offense has absolutely just fizzled out. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. They got a winnable game against the Jets. But the Jets are at home, so we'll see. I I picked the Bills to win, so I expect them to win and go back in the top 10, but we'll see. We'll see, but they are on the down spiral right now. Let's put the team at 10 that won their game. Cowboys are 10. Uh, you can make the argument, maybe they're, uh, they could be like 15. Maybe these teams deserve to be better than them, but that's a, that's a great game. That's a great win. Uh, away against the Steelers. So I put them at 10. And uh, they have... Who they got this week? They got the they got the Lions. They got the Hungry Lions. The Decker reported game. We'll see if they can come out on top. But they're at home. So we'll see. But the team that I put above them... And I think this will be one of the most controversial picks. Uh, controversial rankings of this week. The Eagles at 9. Because I still predict that they are a better team than the Cowboys. Even though they're 2-2, two and two, they run by a week. Uh, they got the Browns this week. Pretty winnable game. Uh, I just think the Eagles have excuses when it comes to injuries. Because their offense has still looked decent even without their two wide receivers. But Cowboys defense looked fine against the Steelers. I mean, I guess the Steelers' offense isn't particularly good, but Cowboys still managed to win with three fucking turnovers. Like, Jesus. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, that, that that just can't happen every game. But I do think the Eagles are a better team. Uh, may may haven't seen it, but I think they are on the same level, and I just have the, the Eagles above them. I mean, you look at the Bills, Seahawks, and 49ers have been disappointing. So, 
I, I got the Eagles, and they were like 12 last week. So, yeah, they moved up three spots just because teams just haven't looked good. Some teams uh, in this area have moved up, obviously, because they had some good wins. So, yep, Eagles win. Eagles up up three because of a bye. I, that is very controversial, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't give up on the Eagles team. Eight. We got the Buccaneers. Close game with the Falcons, but, you know, let's just show the other one. Obviously, the Falcons. They got the win. Uh, Falcons were 11, and now they're 7. Uh, Bucks just lost a very close game, but they were looking really good besides the Broncos. Uh, they just let it slip away. Uh, so, I still believe in the team, but you got to put the Falcons, who won that game, and their team is looking really good now. I think both of these teams look really good. I, I, I couldn't really punish the Buccaneers for losing that badly, so... Yep, they're still in the top eight. Falcons moving up. That team is clicking now, even without the run game working. Uh, and they got the Panthers, and the Bucks got the Saints. I believe they both will come out victorious. So, number six, pretty controversial one, but I got... I, I'm going to show the next two as well. I'm going to show the next two. The battle this week is the Maryland matchup, Commanders-Ravens. Both look really good. I think a lot of people would say Ravens are a better team than the Commanders. But my philosophy is the Commanders, besides Week 1, even even in Week 1, they were not supposed to win that game. Since Week 1, they have looked so dominant. They've won four in a row. Uh, they've won games that they're not even supposed to win. Whereas the Ravens have lost games they're suppo they are supposed to win. Like, you look at the Ravens versus the Raiders, and they lost that game. So, because of that, I have the Commanders, who are who are fifth place in the top five, because they are winning games. They haven't lost a game that they're supposed to win. They, that they're supposed to. They're supposed to win, right? They're winning games, and they're not, they're not showing any weakness, to be honest. So... And obviously, week one, always an anomaly. But they're, they, they have won four straight. Ravens have won three straight. So, really, really good teams on the same level. I, I got to give the edge to Commanders, though. Moving on, you got the four spot Lions, who are three and one. And their expectations were uh, they, that they are a good team. They made the uh, NFC Championship last year. And they're three and one. Their, their quarterback last game that they played uh, before the bye. Uh, through 18 for 18, perfect game. So, uh, perfect completion percentage, and they, they they're, they're they're doing their thing. They look great. Three and one, lost to the Bucks, who are eighth place. So yeah, they're a great team, uh, and they deserve the four spot. Number three, we were waiting for a game, a little bit of a battle test. It's the Texans. They looked amazing against the Bills. Uh, besides the second half, but they closed it out. They got the win. And they're four and one, man. They're running away with their division, so they are third. They got uh, the Patriots, and I I believe they they will keep that up. And obviously the Lions have the Decker reported game, uh, and I think they are hungry to beat the Cowboys this year. So we'll see, but we'll see. We'll see if the Lions and Cowboys uh, change drastically in the future. Number two, it's the Chiefs and the Vikings. Uh, both 5-0. and oh. Vikings look way more convincing. I think the Vikings-Jets in London was a trap game because the Vikings weren't even home. But they continue to be 5-0. and oh. They turned the ball over. Uh, they, they got turnovers. They also turned the ball over. But they still won. They are really good in that, that turnover ratio. Uh, the Chiefs, 5-0 and oh, for different reasons. Not convincing 5-0. and oh. But still 5-0 at, at the least. So they're second. Vikings are one respectively. And that is going to be the power rankings, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and uh, again, prayers to, to the people in Florida and that, that southeast coast who are getting those hurricanes this week. Uh, I, I believe it arrives today. So yeah, uh, just prayers up. Hopefully we'll see Shroud again. And he is safe and everyone else is safe down there but thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you in three weeks uh in the next power rankings hakuna matata